What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Seltzer coming to you guys again with another rebuilding video and this time we're working on another team for the Eastern Conference, the Detroit Pistons. Uh, the Pistons have some pretty bad contracts and players, I'm not going to lie, like Tobias Harris, Reggie Jackson are getting paid a lot of money, KCP I'm going to re-sign in the offseason and we're going to trade him probably because he's not he's a 77 but he's going to ask for like 20 mil or 17 or 18 mil but still he's a 77 overall. Mark Smarts is okay I guess, Ish Smith is fine, John Lewis is getting paid a lot of money, Boban's getting paid a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot of contracts just kind of out there that are not that great. Drummond's all right, so I'm not going to have too much of an issue with him. But uh, Tobias Harris definitely has to get off this team. I'm not going to keep him here. Worst case scenario, we might just tank this first season and see what happens. Um, so let's see. I'm trying to get pieces that might make us better. Uh, Jeremy Lin's going to expire. Al Jefferson, TJ Warren. I'm trying to get something that's not, like, horrible. Um... Steven Adams and Doug McDermott. Screw it. I'll do that. Uh, we'll move Steven Adams to power forwards, and he'll at least be there. Um, next, is I'm going to move Reggie Jackson and John Lure. And we're basically just doing this for players for the future. I'm not even care. I don't. We're not going to win this first season. I'm not trying to win in the first season. So, if it, it, however far we get, it's going to be better than I expected, basically. Um, so, TJ Warren, Marquise Morris, Joe Johnson, Darren Collison, Julius Randle. Uh, he's gonna expire, but uh, he's not he's not a horrible deal. I'm gonna do that screw it We'll have Julius Randall and he'll be a power forward in case we need it uh, for next season Basically, we're not gonna win this first season. I don't want to I don't really plan on it. I think we still have our pick anyways uh, So it's not gonna be much of an issue for me. Let's just make sure see what pick we if we do have yeah We do have our picks. That's not a problem for me uh, Steven Adams Julius Randall KCP Marcus Morris anybody I really need to move Boban Marjanovic Luke Kennard will keep uh, little dang, I'll keep for now. Stanley Johnson and Boban. Can I move them for something? Uh, actually, I might even... Let's think. Who might be bad this season? Uh, the Hawks might be. So let's go to the Hawks. Uh, Hawks. Hawks 2017 unprotected. I will give you Boban. Or do you value Stanley Johnson? Then we'll take uh, a really bad contract that you might have. Kent Bazemore. And I'll also give you Boban. Or uh, Luol Deng. And you give us this guy. And I'll give you a 2019 first rounder. And a 2020 first rounder. There we go. So I'm doing that just because I'm basically loading up on this, this uh, draft class. Uh, and I will also give... Um, that's going to be it, really. I don't really care. Like, the team's not good. Like, this is not a good team. Uh, I don't plan on winning this season. We're just going to leave it as is, and I'm going to simulate all the way to the end of the season where hopefully we're going to tank, and hopefully we have a really high pick this year. I'll see you guys then, and then we're going to dump contracts in the offseason. We'll see how exactly everything's going to go. I'll see you guys next season, probably, or the end of season awards. Here we are at the end of season awards where LeBron James is your MVP with 25 points, 10 boards, 9.5 assists, 2.5 steals, 1 block. Markel Fultz is your rookie of the year with 18 and 6, 2 steals as well. Julius Randle is 6th man of the year of our very own team, actually. 12, 13 points basically, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. Nice stats, I'm going to be honest. There's some nice stats coming out of him. Hassan White's a defensive player of the year with 17 boards, 3 blocks. Jokic is your most improved. And coach of the year is Mike D'Antoni of the Houston Rockets. Um... The Blazers. <sighs> yeah, I don't think we have anybody on an, an all immediate team. I'll be real. Nope. And defensive, maybe. Still nope. And I don't think we have any rookies. So this is an apply to us for 30 of 52, which is a pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad uh, record. Uh, Andre Drummond led us in scoring 16 and 13 boards, two, two and a half steals, two blocks. So it's nice defensive stats. KCP had 14 points and three assists. Bino Udra had 13 and eight assists. Uh, Marcus Morris had 13, Julius Randle had 12 and 9. We saw his stats. DeAndre Brembry was here too. Reggie Bullock was pretty nice. Yeah, Darun Hillard was nice. Steve Adams was 11, 10. That's a lot of shooters. Oh, it's probably because rotations were kind of screwed up because I, I have even no idea. But um, let's look at conference standings. Uh, we were. Are we the worst? No, we are third worst in the East. Um, and we would be like the fourth worst in the overall. So let's just simulate the playoffs since we're not in it anyways. And uh, it looks like it's probably going to be Warriors-Cavs like it usually is. Oh, it's actually Warriors-Raptors. And the Warriors sweep the Raptors as 30 points, uh, 8 assists, uh, 8 rebounds, 9 assists, 2.5 steals, 
come out of Stephen Curry as he wins finals MVP. We're going to go to league meetings, make sure nothing gets changed around. Everything's rejected. Staff signings, do we need to re-sign anyone? Greg Popovich is here. Uh, so we're going to definitely sign him. Um, any good assistant coaches that are nicely available? Nope, nobody crazy. So let's see. We'll sign Greg Popovich. And I'm going to make sure nobody uh, always decline for Vincent just to make sure that nobody steals away our uh, assistant GM. So we're going to go here and let's go trade finder. We're going to see if we can move Steven Adams. We have the second and the third pick overall. Finesse the league. It's over, my boys. Uh, Steven Adams and the second overall pick. Let's do actually who's the first pick overall. Does it say in the uh, thing? Uh, who's going to have the number one overall pick? Uh, let's go look at the mock draft. Scouts. Mock draft. Celtics have the number one overall pick. So we're going to go to the Celtics. And we'll take that pick. I will give you the third overall pick and Steven Adams. All right. What about the second overall pick and Steven Adams? All right. So they agreed to that. So now we have Steven Adams. Um, now let's see who's taking up. Kent Bazemore is getting paid a lot of money. So Kent Bazemore. Actually, I might just dump them afterwards. We have the third and the first overall pick. Uh, so I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings with who we select first and third overall. See you guys then. And so here we are at Rookie Signings with the first overall pick. We selected Mike Porter. And the third overall pick, we selected DeAndre Ayton. Uh, so team player options. Let's see if there's anyone that we need to offer them to. Gabinage. I will offer that $1 million if you really want to come here. And Elson and uh, Bembry, however, can walk. Um... So let's see any this this free agency is gonna be stacked actually qualifying offers let's see uh kcp will get a qualifying extension so will these guys through and hillard cannot uh, i will not offer one to mcdermott either because that's five mil essentially for a 73 overall i'm okay with that i am okay with not offering him that i mean uh so let's go to my free agents we have everyone's testing that really matters right now so we're gonna go to free agency and now we can do the moves so the first move is we have some really, really overpaid players in uh, those guys. And Luke Kennard, I'll probably keep Luke Kennard. He's not getting paid that much. But uh, those two guys are getting paid a lot. So I'm going to go to the Warriors and grab this pick and this pick. So two first overalls, and that will be good enough for me. So free agency, Kevin Durant is here. Uh, I will give you a player option. The Knicks are number one offer to Marcus Cousins, however, it would be super nice to actually add to the team. And where's number one offer? Uh, if we could get uh, Isaiah Thomas, that would be actually pretty filthy. I'm going to be real. The Pistons, we are his only offer currently. Paul George would be nice, too. I'd rather actually have Paul George on the team. We're, we're not his number one offer, though. So let's see who accepts on the first day. I hope DeMarcus Cousins does. So we'll sign uh, DeMarcus Cousins, actually. And let's see. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, do you want to come here? I already gave you an offer, man. That's a lot of money, too. And we are available. So, what we have to do now is, unfortunately, Drummond, I'm going to have to actually ask you to walk. Uh, when Isaiah Thomas says he want to come to the team, uh, unfortunately, I can't really tell him no. He's, a, he's kind of a beast. Uh, so, let's see who's not making a whole bunch of money. Jonas Valanciunas is not making a terrible amount of money. Um, and Corey Joseph. So, let's see if I can do that. Now let's see if I can accept Isaiah Thomas for a super cheap contract. Uh, well, it's not a super cheap contract, but a, a nice contract. In a, I think it was only like 27 mil for him or something. So that's not a horrible deal. I'm going to be real. Uh, he's a 91 overall too. So uh, can we sign him yet? No, I cannot. Uh, I might have to get rid of Corey Joseph, who's getting paid 8 mil. So yeah, unfortunately, Corey Joseph, you're going to have to walk. He would have been a nice backup. Don't get me wrong. But uh, when you can't afford him, you can't afford him, you know? Uh, so let's see who might... Ooh, uh, you can actually keep that. I'll do Corey Joseph for him straight up. I'll give you a second round or two. Just let me have him. Jesus. I don't want Joakim Noah, all right? Let me give you two seconds. All right, you know what? Take the first rounder then. That's fine. Whatever. We'll do that. Um, now how much contract space do we have? Still not quite enough. Um, I'm going to move... If we didn't have to give Josh Smith any money, this would not be a problem. God dang it. Uh, so, Morris, unfortunately, you're going to have to walk. Because I like everybody else because they're super young players. I like having a young uh, kind of bench available. Rashawn Holmes, 
Uh, you can keep Jared Bayless. I'll give you this, though. I'll take Rashawn Holmes. He's getting paid $1 million. Like, that's going to be perfectly enough. And I think that's going to be enough exactly or close enough to get Isaiah Thomas for that really, really cheap contract that we offered. And then we're going to have a really nice team. Uh, we have a lot of young players, a lot of young talent. Uh, but Isaiah Thomas will be a nice player to help lead that. And so we have Isaiah Thomas now. And let's go look at our bird right players. So I'm going to give KCP that. Uh, McDermott, if you'd like to come on that, that's fine. I'll give Julius Randle that too. Wow, he's actually not asking for that much money. So, if these guys want to come for those cheap contracts, hopefully we can. And I'm trying to do this early. I'm actually trying to sign them for it to see if I can get Carmelo Anthony on a uh, mid-level exception. So, uh, if Doug McDermott wants to come for cheap, for cheap, I don't know why I said it's so weird. But if he wanted to come for cheap, I would not be opposed to signing him. Uh, so, maybe if we sign KCP, will he now see us as a contender? He does not. Um, unfortunately, that's really weird, actually, because we are pretty filthy stacked. Uh, George Hill doesn't see us as contender or doesn't want to sign for a minimum I mean um, so that doesn't really matter uh, is there anyone that we that I have contracts out for just in case I want to make sure uh, Julius Randall is still there but uh, we'll go to player progression so we're gonna simulate uh, past free agency the rest of free agency and just see uh, if we can get anyone uh, so I'll s actually that's gonna be the last setting that I'll probably do I'll see you guys at the beginning of the next season with exactly what the team's looking like and if I have to make any moves or trades I'll see you guys then all right don't get me wrong I know we just drafted DeAndre Aiden but this trade came up for Devin Booker and TJ Warren for him basically uh, unfortunately I can't really turn that down TJ Warren's a beast or uh, Deon well Devin Booker's a beast TJ Warren's pretty good but uh, Devin Booker is the reason I'm doing this trade Devin Booker is gonna be a nice nice shooting guard to put alongside Isaiah Thomas so you're looking at Isaiah Thomas Devin Booker Mike Porter Jonas Valanciunas and DeMarcus Cousins off the bench we have a lot of power forwards actually um, so let me do a trade for uh, Julius Randle just kind of Julius Randle by himself potentially um, I'd like to get Chris Middleton is a nice deal. Steven Adams and Dwayne Dedmond, welcome to the team. Steven Adams and Dwayne Dedmond will be extremely nice for us. Uh, we don't need to have Steven Adams run the power forward anymore though. Uh, instead, I'm going to move him to center. He'll be a backup center for the team. And then Rashawn Holmes, I'm going to probably move for a point guard, I think. Uh, let me check actually exactly what we need. So the bench is still solid, but um, D no, I'll move Dwayne Dedmond, uh, Dwayne Dedmond, and maybe Neil Aquina, just in case I could get a better point guard. I, I always look to see. Patrick Beverly is a potentially, actually, probably a better point guard. Um, unless there's a better one. Nope. Uh, so, Joe Johnson, Patrick Beverly is the main reason I'm doing this. Patrick Beverly is kind of a beast. He's defensively super solid, so it'll be a nice backup point guard to kind of accent the rest of the team that we have. Uh, so the bench is looking super nice. Uh, I like the look of the bench already, uh, but um, our power forward position is definitely lacking. So let me do two first and Jonas Valanciunas and see if I can move them for move him for a solid uh, power forward. Um, Serge Ibaka is all right, but he's not. He's not. He's two overalls technically less than uh, Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, let's see if there's any power forward center combo. Look, search. Um, I wonder if this uh, it probably wouldn't. Okay, so it's not gonna work. Uh, I, was, I don't know why I even tried it, but uh, okay, so that's not working. Somebody cheap, Chris. Uh, Chris Apps would be impossible to get. Jabari Parker lately has been easy to trade for. I uh, can't afford him. Uh, let's think who. Who might be possible? Jonas Valanciunas for Miles Turner. And that, not, I'll, I'll figure it out later for now. We're just going to roll with this team. They need to fix their chemistry anyway. So let me make sure it's team chemistry training. And then I will see you guys at uh, the season awards or the trade deadline with exactly what the team's going to look like. We're probably going to have to do one or two more moves because the center position, uh, the power forward position isn't that great. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to upgrade that. I'll see you guys then. All right, so the, to me, this looks like a pretty good deal. Jonas Valanciunas, two first-rounders, and Michael Gabinage for Nikola Vucevic and Zach Randolph. Uh, this one's mostly for Vucevic, actually. If you move hit Vucevic to power forward, obviously he's going to go up, but I like him because he has a nice, nice, sweet mid-range shot. So that's going to work out extremely nicely. I think that's going to be a flat-out upgrade in my personal belief. 
uh, for this kind of a player. So we're going to go here, move down to Vucevic, move him to power forward. He goes up to an 83, uh, and his mid-range is pretty filthy. It's a 98 mid-open. Uh, I'm looking at Isaiah Thomas for some reason. Uh, it's an 85 mid-open, uh, 88 close. Uh, so it's a pretty nice shot. I like having him on the team, and he's a pretty nice rebounder too, actually. He's a pretty nice shot IQ. His layups are pretty solid. So overall, I, I have no idea. I blanked out for a reason. I don't know why I was looking at Isaiah Thomas' stats, but it's whatever. Vujovic is still a beast. Zach Randolph will be the power forward coming off the bench. Um, so let me see if I can do Luke Kennard and uh, Rishon Holmes, if I can upgrade the shooting guard position with that. Uh, let's see, just in case. Tyreek Evans is pretty beastly. Tyreek Evans would not be a horrible, horrible trade. Buddy Hield is probably going to be the one. And, yep, welcome to the team. That is JJ Barea. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but Buddy Hield's right here. Tia Buddy Hield and Tiago Splitter. Buddy Hield is going to be a nice knockdown three-point shooter off the bench. 32-7, and seven, but, you know, you always upgrade. That's the trick to 2K. If you want to break the system, always look to upgrade your team. So we're 32-7, and seven, first in the conference. I'm going to simulate now to the end-of-season awards, and I will see you guys then as hopefully we can finish off as a first seed in the Eastern Conference. All right, so here I am trying to make this deal work. I'm going to give up TJ Warren and Mike Porter to the Timberwolves. I want to get... Um, Shabazz. Can I get Shabazz? No, I can't. Uh, but maybe Tyus Jones. Can I get Tyus Jones? I'll give you a second round or two. Um, I feel like this is close because I can get Andrew Wiggins, but I have to give up pieces as opposed to players, unfortunately. Uh, Joe Johnson has decent trade value. Give me your worst player, Josh Smith. We'll, we'll literally bring back Josh Smith, the dude we're still paying money to. Um, Zach Randolph might have better value. So I'm not sure this really benefits the team. Actually, out of curiosity, this is this is a trick if you want to see if uh, if you're if you trade for a player and you're not exactly sure if the overall but goes up if you move them, you can always go over to their team here and just to see. Because I think you could probably trade for yeah no I can't trade I can't I can't get CJ for that. But uh, I was because CJ I've been shopping around a little bit on Mike Porter just to see what I could receive for him because I need a small forward. Like a slightly better small forward. Chris Bosch could play small. Could he play small forward? No, he's, he's really tall. He's like 6'11. Yeah, he's 6'11. So he couldn't play small forward. Jamal Murray, Will Barton, George Hill, Eric Bledsoe, and Wilson Chandler. CJ McCollum. And yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing really good. We're still doing we're still doing good. I was just checking to see if I could upgrade the small forward position. Unfortunately, I can't. But uh, this is going to be the team. 82% chemistry. Uh, and we're just going to simulate all the way to the end of season awards now. Uh, we're totally going to make it as a first seed because we're already 42 and 11. So I'll see you guys at the end of season awards. And here we are at the end of season awards where James Harden is your MVP with 26 points in half boards, 9 assists, 1 and a half steals. Luka Doncic is rookie of the year with 11, 7, and 3 and a half. And a steal and almost a block a game. Ron as well as 6 man. Uh, Hassan White is defense player with 15 boards, 3 blocks. Miles Turner is most improved with 10 boards, but 3 and a half blocks. Pete Perkinson. The San Antonio Spurs is the coach of the year, even though he's not number one. I don't know what's going on. He's not even number one power rankings, but all right. Uh, do we have anybody from our team on an all-NBA team? Any of the Pistons players? Uh, does not look like it. All defensive doesn't look like it either, unfortunately. All rookie, maybe. Uh, we don't actually, actually wait. Yes, obviously Mike Porter's on here. I was just making sure. I was like, I didn't see him. Uh, let's look at player stats on the season. Uh, we had Isaiah Thomas leading us in points with 19 points, 8 assists. Uh, Mike Porter had 16 and 7 boards with 2 assists. Uh, Devin Booker had 15 and 5 assists. Dark Sands had 14 and 9 with 1.5 blocks and a steal a game too. Not too bad. Zach Randolph had 11 and 7. Vucevic had 10 and 8 with 1 block. Uh, Steven Adams had 10 and 7 with 1 block. TJ Warren had 9. 9 came out of Buddy Heald. And Patrick Bailey had 5 and 5 basically. It's so nothing super crazy, but we were definitely number one overall in the East by nine games. Uh, we were four games ahead of the San Antonio Spurs. So we were actually number one overall. Isaiah Thomas did lead this team, so the team is looking pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to be real. Uh, let's look at who we're facing in the first round. We're up against the Toronto Raptors. We have Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan. Serge Ibaka is still here, and they have Andre Drummond. I don't know how they're the eighth seed, but this team is still pretty nice. Mm. Let's see here. I'm definitely going to have to make a couple moves. I'm going to change some of these minutes. And I'm definitely going to have to get more to these guys up here. So, uh, Devin Booker's got to get 32. 32. 3 is going to go to Isaiah Thomas. I'll make sure uh, Vucevic needs to get some more minutes, too. I'm going to give him 31, and that should be good enough. So, now we're going to simulate the current round. We should be able to beat the Raptors uh, pretty handily, I think. 
beat them in five games were up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, the Wizards get upset by the Hornets, the seven-seeded Hornets, and the Boston Celtics upset the uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks. But we are now up against the Cavs, who I do not want to face. Kyrie Irving, Jan LeBron James, basically the same team. They have Law uh, Ty Lawson now, though. Can we go up 2-0, please? Can we please go up 2-1? They're up 2-1. Can we go up? Tie it. 2K, you're going to upset me unless we bring this. Like All right. All right, whatever. All right, Cavs, beat us, I guess. Houston Rockets. Ah. <sighs> All right, so uh, 34 points, seven rebounds, seven and a half assists, one steal came out of them. Uh, geez. All right, so we're gonna go to league meetings. Make sure nothing gets changed. Staff signings. Uh, we're gonna look to see if we have any assistant GMs that are nice out there. Nobody. Head coach. We're gonna keep obviously. Um, actually, who is available for head coaches? Oh, Quinn Snyder is here, and he has nice potential. But, you know, it's Greg Pop. I'm not going to do anything. We're going to go to... Uh, I don't think we even have our pick, actually. Yeah, we don't. So I'm just going to go to team player options. Skip everything here and hope that we can make it there with no problems. The Pistons, whatever. Doesn't matter here. Team player options, buddy. Healed. We will accept his team player option, obviously. Uh, Devin Booker, we're going to give a qualifying offer extension. Um, and let's see here. My free agents, uh, he's testing. So, actually, who else is there? Vucevic is also testing. So, we're going to have to sign both of these guys back, hopefully. Uh, let's see if we have... I don't even know if we have contract space. No, we are negative 32 million in contract space because we have TJ Warren and Steven Adams taking up a bunch. Uh, so, uh, Steven Adams, I'm going to move. Uh, Darren Carlson, Enos Cancer is getting paid a lot of money. Um, going to do TJ Warren. How, hold up, buddy. Heels getting six. Mike Porter's not getting much, but it's basically just these three guys. That would clear up 40 mil. I still wouldn't be that much. Let's see instead, Marcus Saul, if we could sign him. How much con? How much? Uh, we barely have a mid-level exception. Um, is anyone older who might be willing to? Goran Dragic. Goran Dragic is willing to accept the mid-level, but uh, ours is. We don't have enough to give him like, what the kind of mid-level he wants. Um, Dwight Howard doesn't want it. Uh, JaVale McGee doesn't want it either. T Tony Allen is willing to get a, uh, cheap contract. Uh, let's go to Bird Rights and we'll get Devin Booker. It would have been awesome to get, um, oh, so I can't sign him, but I could probably sign Devin Booker. So let's sign Devin Booker back. Apparently, I, I, if I don't get Vucevic, I'm actually going to be a little bit upset. Um... See here, who Vucevic. All right, you know what? We're gonna have to make a couple moves here. So I'm gonna have to definitely move Steven Adam, and I'm gonna move T.J. Warren, uh, Laurie Markkinen, and Nikola Mirotic. That's not a horrible, horrible trade actually. Uh, they're super cheap, so I'll do that. Uh, they're gonna work out for our team. That's like we're, we just dropped like 30 million dollars essentially in terms of cap space. Um, now let's go to free agency. Is Marcus Saul still here? Yes, he is. Uh, do we still have enough? We're a million short. Uh, Zach Randolph, I'm going to keep. But uh, Miritich, I'm going to drop you, my dude. Uh, Timothy Luawu, the, no, I'm not going to give you to the Cavs, though. Mir Johnson, uh, Michael Beasley, that'll work out. So, now this should mean, if if all things work out correctly, we can sign Marcus All for insanely cheap please 2k all right so we can't he doesn't see us as a contender now uh without miritich which is super weird but we still have an insanely stacked team i don't know what's going on um all right Devin booker just sign with us please we gave you the exact offer that you requested to please sign with us does this mean i could sign marcus all now we still don't have the who has our mid-level? How do we figure out who has the mid-level exception from us? We only have 3.7 in mid-level exception. And Mark Saul's gone now, so it doesn't really matter. Dwight Howard's still here too, but uh, that doesn't matter either. But Vucevic, we should be able to sign for the, the $25 million he's asking for, which is an insane amount. Uh, 2K, just let me grab him. Don't be, don't, be, uh, don't be like that. Don't play me. Don't play no games. 
And uh, I'll see you guys actually at the beginning of the next season with exactly what the team's going to look like because we're definitely going to get Vucevic back and then uh, hopefully uh, we can make it to championships finally. I'll see you guys then. And so this is the team to start off the season. We have Isaiah Thomas, Devin Booker, Mike Porter, Nikola Vucevic, and DeMarcus Cousins. Off the bench, we now have Laurie Markkinen, who I could probably move to small forward and he might go up actually because usually that happens. So, um, yeah, so I'll move him to small forward. He'll be an 80 overall now. Uh, so Laurie Markkinen will be the sixth man. Then we have Zach Randolph, Buddy Heald, Patrick Beverly, and Tony Allen. Uh, we don't really have a center. Uh, could probably find one later, but uh, for now this is going to be the team. I like the look of it. It's pretty solid. I'm going to simulate now until the trade deadline probably, and I'll see if I have to make any moves. If I do, I will, you'll see those. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of season awards. I'll see you guys then. That's why Howard gives it to Washington Wizards. Apparently, he wasn't signed, uh, but I'll see you guys then. So this is an insanely good deal. You're talking about Lucas Noguera and second rounder to first rounder Nikola Vucevic for basically Andre Drummond. Chris Humphries is irrelevant in this trade, but that's a deal. Uh, you're talking about upgrading my power forward position flat out with Andre Drummond. I will not deny that. I will not. Actually, I might actually run Andre Drummond at the center position. Keep him there. Welcome back to the team, by the way. Uh, and I'm actually going to move uh, DeMarcus Cousins to the power forward position. He has a better mid-range shot, and he'll stretch out the floor just a little bit better. Uh, I actually like the look of that better than uh, what it was before. So now we have Andre Drummond, who's going to be the center for the bench. Uh, but we are definitely in need of a center for our, uh, uh, sorry, a center for the bench, starting center. But uh, we definitely need a center for the bench now. That's what I was getting at. And my game is still glitched, uh, but we definitely need a center. Michael Beasley, Tyson Chandler. There we go. That was way harder than it should have been. But we finally got a backup center. Tyson Chandler is super old, and he might like explode in a dust when he touches the ground for a rebound after a rebound or something. But it's going to work out for us. Now we have to finally have a backup center. I like the rest of the team. The team is still solid. We still have Isaiah Thomas, Devin Booker, Mike Porter, and DeMarcus Cousins. Andre Drummond as well as now on the team. Lori Mark are back on the team. Lori Mark and Zach Randolph, Buddy Hill, Patrick Beverly, and Tony Allen isn't going to get those minutes. I'm going to give them to Tyson Chandler. And Chandler is going to be a pretty solid uh, backup center. I'm going to go to Team Chem. And now we're going to see you guys at the end of season awards. And here we are at the end of the season awards where Giannis Antetokounmpo is your MVP. 24 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. Uh, Emmanuel quickly is the rookie of the year with 16 and 4. 4 assists, 2 steals, 1.5 blocks. 6 man of the year is also Emmanuel quickly, probably backing up Mike Conley. I think, right? He's a guard. Yeah, I was not crazy. Okay. Uh, Asan Whiteside is your defensive player of the year with 14 boards, 3 blocks. Kyrie Irving is most improved player, 25 and 8. How's he most improved? Did was that not like his similar stats last season? Let's check just to make sure. Okay, so he did. He got up six points and he went up three assists. So I guess that's kind of most improved. Ron Adams of the Golden State Warriors is somehow coach of the year. All right. Well, uh, let's see if any Pistons are on an All NBA team. At some for some reason it jumped to All Rookie team. That does that sometimes. All NBA second, third, maybe nobody defensive, nobody. Uh, maybe a rookie. I don't even think we have rookies. Yeah, so we don't. It doesn't apply to us. 55 and 27 was good enough, however, for the first in the East. Two games ahead of the Cavs, and we were two games ahead of the Warriors. So we're number one overall with a actually kind of low stat when you think about it. But uh, Mike Porter led our team in scoring with 18 and 18.6 points, seven and a half rebounds, and one and a half blocks a game too. Not bad. Isaiah Thomas had 17 and seven. Devin Booker had 16 points. Demarcus Cousins had 15 and eight with one steal, one block, and Andre Drummond had 10 and 10 with one steal and one block. Laurie Markkinen had 10 and five with a block a game. Zach Randolph had 9 and 5 as well. So not too bad coming out of these guys, all things considered. Some pretty nice stats for the season. We're up against the Brooklyn Nets. Who do they have? Uh, I cannot see. So we're going to have to go to the other way and uh, Nets. So Russell, Anthony, they, have, they got Carmelo Anthony. Uh, they gave him a lot of money though. Jeremy Lin, uh, not scared of these guys at all. So we should be able to handle them pretty easily. They are up 3-0 on us. 2K, what are you doing? If we get swept, or if we lose to them, I'm going to be extremely upset. All right, so we lose in five games to the Brooklyn Nets. If anybody can explain to me what's going on, 2K is busting my nuts here. Uh, James Harden goes on and wins Finals MVP with 29 points, 9 rebounds, 11 assists, 2 steals. I didn't do any trades. Our chemistry was actually pretty high considering it was almost like a 90 overall. Uh, I have no idea how this team lost. We had DeMarcus Cousins, Isaiah Thomas, Andre Drummond, Mike Porter, DeMar uh, Devin Booker, Laurie Markkinen, Zach Randolph, Buddy Heald, 
Patrick Beverly, Tony Allen, Tyson Chandler, Chris Humphreys, and Al Farouk Aminu. Uh, this team was pretty stacked. I'm going to be real. It was pretty nice. If I still have no idea how we lost, but uh, I guess I still have that 2K curse. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Uh, if there's a team you want to see me rebuild or a challenge or something like that that you want to see for the next video, feel free to leave that down as well. I always read the comments and I try to reply whenever I can. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys. I'll see you then.